Hello people, how you doing? Hope you watched my uh, video of PTSD. But take this. I was in Vietnam for a year and 17 days. Hey, my moments. But I was not in the infantry. I was not on the front line. Sure, I got blown up. I lost my legs. But take this. I spent about five weeks or so in Japan where they uh, did intensive uh, surgeries on my legs and on my head. I've seen a lot of people that's worse than me. Then they shipped me home. My accident happened on December 28th. 1967. Well, on February the 13th, 1968, I arrived in San Francisco at Edmund Hospital, an army hospital full of people, veterans, that were from Vietnam, just got back from Vietnam. It's in all sorts of shapes. But dig this. No matter how bad I was, I looked around and somebody next to me is a lot worse and he's smiling. But here's something else. And it was eight months in the Army Hospital. I seen a lot of loved ones come up and see their honeys, their sons, whatever, and all of a sudden, because they had some kind of disability, because they're disfigured, their family, their wives, their loved ones, have a different attitude toward them. I didn't have to worry about that. My wife had sent me a Dear John letter for a long time ago when I was in Vietnam. <laughs> Dear John. I see people, the patients there, take their own lives. With their wives and loved ones. Wives and loved ones. Turn their back on them because they went to Vietnam and served their country. PTSD in Vietnam ain't shit, baby. It's the aftermath of war I've seen. And then, they moved me to Palo Alto. I was there for what? 14? No, 16 months. Same thing. Then the young young, brave veterans in a lot worse shape than I was. And their families walked away from them. In those two years, I had a visitor come and see me on nearly every, every Sunday. That was my dad. My uncle came up to see me when I was in Letterman Hospital. My Uncle Dale, he's a Korean veteran, big guy. But he came up there, and there I was laying in bed, 115 pounds. Last time he seen me, I weighed 195. I had IVs in me all over and nothing more else but skin and bones. He uh, visited me for about five minutes, went outside, and got sick. He came home and told everyone how bad it was up there, how bad I looked. And there was hundreds of young men up there who were worse shaped than I was. So not one time did I get a visitor from any of my relatives except for my dad. 
On Sundays, they was too busy going to their church and sitting around and watching their professional sports to drive an hour and 15, an hour and a half minutes to come and see me in the hospital. Family, like I said, my dad was my only visitor. A little later, some of my buddies come up. But ain't that a piece of crap. PTSD, again, like I say, Vietnam was a shit. The aftermath of Vietnam was. But here I am. Jeez, how many years ago? 56, 57, whatever it is. December 28, 1967. And this is whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Enjoying life. Doing things my way, each and every day. Be thankful. Been through Helm Bank. But what would I do without a challenge? Each day I wake up in chronic pain. Each day I get out of bed and give thanks and start my day. My morning exercise routine. Each day, I give thanks for what I have and what I could do. It's just me. Again, Vietnam wasn't shit compared to the two years I spent in the hospital. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Do anything you have. Do anything you do. Most of all, enjoy your freedom. Because freedom's not free. See you later.